That would be great. If you don't have a foam roller, just anything you can kind of wave between yourself. But for the first exercise, it's called the dead bug. And we're just going to hold ourselves in the position of hips rough at 90 degrees, arms rough at 90 degrees. And I want you to use this minute of just trying to think about can I actually feel pressing my lower back into the mat and then just allow the lower back to raise a small amount. Push the lower back in, and I want you to, when you push your back down, I want you to really lengthen the arms as much as you can, okay? And we're just going to hold in this position here, so we're just going to take a nice deep breath in, push into the mat, push the arms away, pull the knees towards you slightly, and then breathe out again. So breathe in, stretch away, breathe out. Ready and pull in. Breathe in through the nose as you can, and then get rid of the breath quickly through the mouth. Deep breath in. And out. So you should feel that pelvis just gradually tip towards you when you breathe in, pressing down with the back, and then you should feel the pelvis just tip away when you breathe out. 10 seconds, just deep breath in. Pressing down into the mat and breathe out. Relax legs down, you can grab your foam roller straight away. We're gonna have it pinned between the right knee and the left hand, okay? And we're just gonna hold the opposite sides up. So it's gonna be left hand, right knee, and we're just gonna hold this position here. And for this minute, I want you to try and press your right knee hard as you can into the foam roller and press your left hand as hard as you can into the foam roller as well while maintaining that position. So maintain the breathing. So we're going to hold this position here, just pressing the knee into the foam roller, pushing the hands into the foam roller. Keep the breathing going. Deep breath in. When you breathe out, increase the tension. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. So you'll start to feel hip flexors working as well. Sorry, we just spoke about hip flexors and you're just going to be working on quite hard today. Deep breath in. Really reach towards the ceiling. Feel that arm go long on the right hand side. Breathe out. Draw the tension through the foam roller. Hold this position here. Deep breath in. You might get some AD adductor. Feelings happening there, just working hard to stabilize in five, three, two, one, and then come back out. Give the legs a little shake out before we go into the opposite side. So you should start to feel that core starting to catch you already. So a nice easy position to go into. Left leg comes up, right hand's going to be pressing in this time. We're going to float up into our position, ready. Off we go for a minute hold. Keep the tension in that foam roller itself there. So deep breath in, press the back down into the mat when you're breathing in, breathe out, push the tension through the roller. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Really good at that breath. Again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Press the lower back down. Keep the back support all the time. So breathe out. Breathe in through the mat. So breathe in, push down. Breathe out through the roller. 10 seconds just. Five, three, two, one, and bring the legs back down. Give a little shake out if you need to as well. Good work. We're going to our first breakout, which is going to be the hollow. So all we're going to do is lie as flat as we can, as long as we can. And all we're going to do is imagine the shape of a plate. So just lifting the feet slightly, 
and lifting the head and the hands. We're just going to hold with the head just off the ground and no more, hands just off the ground and no more, and the feet just off the ground and no more. So the reason we pop this one in is to get some length back down through the hip flexors after shortening them there. So we're going to hold this for about 60 seconds. We might do two sets of 30. So ready, and lift the feet, lift the hands, lift the heads. Keep the breathing nice and controlled. The calves are just off the ground and no more. The back, your biceps are just off the back of the ground and no more. And the head is just off the ground and no more. It's definitely the two sets of 30. Try and keep the legs apart and the camera and pressing them together. So no fixed point. Three, two, one, relax, back down, be long and really trying to stretch out just now. So ready, second set. Keep breathing, keep the gap between the chin and the chest quite loose as well, rather than fixing the head up. So keep the head and neck long. So second set in three, two, one, off we go. Raise the feet, raise the hands. Long through this position here. Point the toes away, point the hands away, really as long as you can. Head long, chin long. Keep the breathing nice and controlled. Five, three, two, and relax back down there. Good job. Grab foam rolls again. It's going to be the same side this time. So we're back up into our tabletop position, our dead dog position. It's going to be the right knee in the right hand this time is holding. I'm going to work here, so ready, and off we go, press down into the mat on the in-breath, push down through the foam roller on the out-breath. And go big with the breathing, try and take as big a breath in as you can, and take as big an exhalation as you can as well, so there's no set reps of breathing, just you go to what you can do. That foam roll is a bit like an accelerator pedal, the harder you press into, the harder you work the core, but keep the back pressing down as much as you can. Three, two, one, and relax back out there. Legs long. Left hand side this time. So left hand, left knee, float up to your tabletop position. So float both legs up. Foam roller on. Wedge it in. Ready. Off we go. It's all about the breathing and reaching and pressing. It's pretty much everything. Reach with the hands, breathe nice and deep, press the hand into the knee. Back stays nice and flat, controlled into the ground, Just keep yourself there. Good work guys, good work. Press the lower back down, lovely. Halfway house, good job. Nice deep breathing, so as much exhalation as you can on the way out, pressing the foam roller, deep breath in and away, into the mat. 15 seconds guys. Five, three, two, one, and relax there, go long with the legs. Second set of a hollow. So we're going to lie on our front this time. So we're going to flip ourselves around on our front. And we're going to have ourselves as long as we can. Feet come off the ground, hands come off the ground. Nose is just off the ground no more, but I want you to really try and stretch as far as you can with the toes and stretch as far as you can with the hands. This one you will feel in the lower back, so don't be alarmed if you do. But again, keep your breathing going. So ready? And two sets of thighs, long as you can, superman. Push the toes away. 
push the arms away. Really, really stretch through here. Hold here. The core, like I was saying in the email, isn't just the abdominals, it's the abdominals, obliques, lower back, into the pelvic floor, into the diaphragm. So keep the breathing nice and controlled. Five seconds. Three, two, relax back down. Second set coming up. Five, three, two, raise the feet, raise the hands, long through the arms, looking straight down into the mat, nose is maybe about two inches off the ground, really try and stretch that shoulders from the shoulders himself, from the shoulder joints, sorry, shoulders from the shoulders, long, 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 hold, 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 breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Three, two, and relax back down there. We're onto our backs again, guys. Second round. This time we're going to just put a little bit of an angle. So it's going to be the right knee, left hand, and we're going to just lower down the opposite sides, okay? So we're going to lower down the opposite sides to hold in this position here, okay? So again, we're breathing in through the nose, pressing down into the mat, out through the foam roller. Okay, so we're starting in three, two, one. Lower down the left leg and the right arm in this instance. Press down into the, the mat. Push through the roller. The roller should accelerate the pedal. The harder you want to work, press harder the foam roller. The easier you want to work, just take the tension off there. Press the lower back down. Breathe now. Deep breath in. Get it all out. switch over so it's going to be left knee right hand this time if you're feeling your back at all just bring the leg back in towards you okay so next one left leg right arm off the go lower down long as you can hold press the lower back down on the in breath press through the foot roller on the out breath the two longest minutes in your life will be a minute silence and a minute core. Good job guys, well done. Really press into the foam roller. Good, press the lower backs down, lovely work. Definitely don't hold your breath, so really try and press down through the back as much as you can. If you're finding the lower backs catching you, just lift the leg back towards you. Good job. Halfway house guys, 30 seconds. Keep going. 10 seconds. That one's for you, Johnny. Three, two, and relax. We're back into our hollow, guys. Next, so our hollow, lying on our backs. Long through here, stretch out through the abdominals and stuff here. Long through the hands and just raise the feet just off the ground and no more. Raise the hands and head just off the ground and no more. We're here for 30 seconds. Two sets up. Keep the breathing nice and controlled. A lot of work to do in the core. Three, two, one, relax, 10 seconds, second set, come up, give the legs a little shake out, give the stomach a little shake out, you need to as well. Three, 
two, one, legs off, shoulders and head off. If you want to make it a little bit harder, put a little bit of a rock, rock forward and backwards. If you're happy enough where you are, just hold it where it is. Three, two, one, and relax there, guys. Good job. We're going back into the same side. So, right hand knee, right hand arm floats up, and we're just lengthening through that same side here. Off we go. Hold in this position here. Yeah. Press the back down. There should be nothing between your back and the ground when you're in this position here. Keep the breathing nice and long, deep breath in, and breathe all the way out, keep working hard. Good Ian, well done, lovely position there, really, really nice. Really press into that foam roll as an accelerator, good Lynn. Johnny, well done, really be long through that arm and leg, really nice, good job, just 20 seconds guys. Keep the breathing nice and controlled. Use the diaphragm to help you. In five, three, two, and relax back down. Switch over. Left hand, left knee. Five seconds. Three. Two, float up, long through the right hand side this time, long through the right hand side. Press the lower back down. Reach with the left hand and press into the roller. Pull up with the knee. Hip flexor working with the obliques. Core working hard. Breathe in. Definitely non-negotiable. You've got to be there through that lower back. Press the lower back into the ground. Take the leg back in if you need to flatten the back out, but keep it long if you can. It's the last set here. 15. 10. Breathe. 3. 2. And relax back down there. Foam rollers to the side just for a second. We're on to our fronts now. And we're going to work into our hollow in this position here. Two times 30 seconds. Long. Feet come off the ground. In three, two, one. There we go. And if you want to make it a little harder, put in the rock. Lengthen the shoulders from the shoulder joints. Breathe in, long out. Ten seconds. Thighs can go. Really pull the, the legs up. The knees are locked out straight. Don't let them bend up. It's all coming from the hip itself. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one second set. Long as we go. Long we go. Again, to make it a little bit harder, just put a little bit of a rock. Opposite side. To make it just work well, breathe. Working hard, working hard. Good job. Three, three, two, and relax there. Third final job we're going to do is going to be hands and knees. So hands and knees, um, bird dog. So we're going to stretch out the right hands with the left leg. Again, we're not arching our backs, so just be long, 
rather than high. So think of it length rather than arcs and lower backs there. So we're going to hold that position for a minute. So ready, three, two, one, off we go, long. Push your left hand down, push your right knee down, engage with the ground. Keep the breathing controlled. Long, long, long. Deep breath in, push through the shoulder blades, push the knee and arm down, breathe out, go long through the arm when we're breathing out. Really lengthen. 15 seconds. 10. Three, two, bring it back down, switch it over. So ready, left knee, right hand. Three, two, one, off you go. Breathe nice and controlled here. Long through the toes, long through the hand. Keep the, the full extension here. Halfway house, press down through the hand. Really push your weight down through the hand and knee. Long through the opposite side. This is for the back more than anything else. Not so much the abdominals, but make sure when you're breathing, you're pulling that pelvis underneath. So pull. Imagine your rib cage and your pelvis going closer and closer together with each breath. Each breath out. Five, three, two, one, and relax back down there. Second set, first leg. This time what we're going to do is do small circles with the arm and leg. So when we come out, we're going to go small circles with the arm and leg. So we're going to move the hands probably anti-clockwise and the leg anti-clockwise as well. Starting with three, two, one, long, and just small movements. It doesn't matter how good the circles are, just get some movement. So we get the glute to help the lower back, and we get the shoulder to help the legs. But stay long. Any movement's good movement here. So get the arm, leg movement. So we've got an unstable base to work from. We've got to use that core to stabilize the pelvis. Halfway house, press down to the arm, press down to the knee. Long through the back. Shoulders will be feeling it as well in the stance arm. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one. Switch over. Good work. Pressing down to the left knee this time, and we're lifting up the the left arm. So in three, two, one. Small circles. Be long. Small circles. Keep the knee locked out. The movement comes from the hip rather than kicking the knee. So keep the elbow and the knee locked so it comes from the hip and the shoulder. Keep working. Good work. Excellent work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So we're working what we call a cross sling just now. So we're working the, the chain that links one side of the body to the opposite side, which comes through your lower back, so that's why you're feeling lower back working as well. So we're working from the tip of your left hand into the shoulder, across diagonally through the back, into the right hip, down through hamstrings, into calf, into the bottom of the foot. So everything's working together. Five, three, two, one, 
relax. Last set, guys. Last set, last exercise today. Back to the first side. And all we're going to do is float up, elbow down to knee, float up, elbow down to knee, float up, elbow down to knee, and so on and so forth. Okay? So we're going to do the right elbow goes to the left knee. Starting in three, two, one. Long, short. Breathe out when you come together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep it slow and controlled when you're breathing. Breathe in. Long. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one. Ten seconds. Breathe in. Breathe long. Long, long, long. Breathe, breathe, breathe in, 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 in. And breathe out. Keep breathing out. And relax there. Switch over. Good job. So ready? Three, two, one. Long breathe in. Breathe out. Bring the elbow to the knee. The knee comes through, the elbow comes down. Breathe in. Long, 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 long. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Breathe out. This last couple will make it as big as you can go. So deep breath in. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. And get rid of it. All the way down. Keep breathing down. Deep breath in last time. Long. And out. Back up the hands and knees, guys. Well done. We're just going to go quickly for one last minute. This is just a hold where we're just going to relax. Hands across the top of the chest. Eyes closed over. Just get your breathing working through your hands. So hands on chest here. Eyes closed. Deep breath in. Feel your hands raised. Deep breath out. Feel your hands lower. So just a wee bit of a stretch. For that diaphragm, deep breath in, pressing your back down into the mat. Breathe out, feel that stomach and your rib cage lower down. Deep breath in. And back out. Deep breath in. Hold. And all the way out. And that's no good. Just watch when you're getting up to your feet after all the breathing. You might feel a little bit like headed. I'm just going to pause the recording and we can answer any questions. Good work, guys. Oh. Good work, guys. That was a hard one.